Hey everyone, what I'd like to do in this video is talk about the algorithm LIDAR2Z or LIDAR2Z. I've been mining with this for the last four or five days and I've been very, very impressed with it. Now, I wanted to do a video sooner, but I couldn't really find any information about it. If you search for LIDAR2Z or LIDAR2Z white paper or anything like that, you won't, you know, nothing will come up. Um, but I found a, a page on the Zcoin website that says that Zcoin uses a temporary algorithm LIDAR2Z as a chained algorithm with a Blake 256 first round and LIDAR2 for the fi final round. And, you know, LIDAR2 is a, a different algorithm there. Uh, and then you've got Blake. Um, it was designed to achieve a slight, a slight advantage to G GPU while making it feasible for CPU mining. So, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, it's very good at CPU mining. It's very good at GPU mining. And apparently it's ASIC resistant as well and it's resistant to FPGAs as well. Now, you know, take that with a pinch of salt because I don't think any algorithm right now is 100% safe from ASIC machines or pro, uh, FPGAs. I think that right now, I believe it's ASIC resistant. I don't believe there's any ASIC machine out there that can mine it. But things change very quickly in this market, as you know. Um, but yeah, it's a very good coin for CPU mining. Um, what I, if I look at here, I was, whenever I, you know, leave my computer, I started mining with my CPU. And this isn't something I normally do. But I'm getting between 530, 540, 550 uh, kilohash. And that is a little bit less than half a 1060. So I'm getting just under half a 1060 from just running my CPU. And that's really, really impressive. In comparison, you know, when I run Equihash, my CPU is probably like a 10th or a 15th or something. Like that's really, really bad. Um, so yeah, from a CPU point of view, this makes it possible to mine with your CPU. It's pretty good. Um, now, from a GPU point of view, right now I'm going to show you just now. I'm going to show you my um, I'm going to show you my awesome miner screen, and you can see it. But from a, I don't have my main GPU um, set up just now. But this, you know, this screenshot now will show you another benefit of it is the power. This doesn't use a lot of power. You can see here in my task manager, I'm not using a lot of power there, and temperatures are low. This is the main reason I love this. You know. Yes, ASIC resistance may change in the future, but this this algorithm uses very little power and it uses very little electricity. I've kind of estimated that I'm a little bit more than uh, than forty percent reduction, you know. So I could be taking my electricity bills from say three hundred and fifty pounds to about two hundred or so. So it's a big, big reduction. Uh, and not only that, you know, I've did some videos over the last week where I've talked about the the temperature of my GPUs were too high. Some of the cars were pushing 80 degrees and I had to push the fans really, really hard. Now, it's been really, really warm today, but, you know, because these things use less power, they obviously, um, they, you don't need to use as much electricity in that as well. Less heat's going into the room. Um, so it's very, very good in that regard. So if I pull up this window, there we go, and I'll move to the side. Right, so I'll move this. There we go. Right, so you should be able to see me now. So you can see my uh, rig one, two, three, and four. Um, now, these are my 1080s, my 1080 Ti's. Now, you can see here, I've got one at 52 degrees, there's two at 51, but look at that, 44 degrees, 47 degrees. That is amazing. Now, I've spoke to a few people about this, and I've tried to get a better understanding of what this coin can do, uh, what this algorithm can do, and what it can't do. And some people say that you don't have to bother about memory. And a lot of people say that you don't have to bother much with power either. Some people say they were reducing the power... Uh, the power rating uh, in the MSI afterburner, and they were reducing it all the way down to like 60%, and they were still getting the same. So, yeah, this doesn't require a lot of power. It doesn't require any, you know, any memory. It doesn't seem to use a lot of memory. And look at those temperatures. Those are 1080 Ti's, and they are, you know, getting me 3.16 mega hashes. 3.13, 3.11. Now, my 1060s are running a little bit hotter, but you can still see there, 50, 55, 49. There's a little one there, 63. There's always one that's a pain. Um, 64 there. But across the board, those are cooler. Last week, those uh, those uh, GPUs were running 70, 80 degrees. And now, by making a few changes with the fans, I uh, you know dropped the temperatures a little bit. But switching from Equihash to Lyra 2Z has dropped the temperatures down even further. Um, so I'm mining with Lyra 2Z now, um, and I'm getting, obviously, lower temperatures. I'm using less electricity. It's win-win. So right now, because I've switched from Equihash to LiDAR2Z, my room is so much more cooler. 
like before it was a furnace and I was thinking I can't even record in this room anymore which is why I was trying to get the the, the temperatures under control and I think this is why a lot of people say that Lyra 2Z is the summer is the summer algorithm um, for reference the the coin that I've been mining over the last four or five days is this MCT and it's a new coin I don't know if this point if, if I'm going to still continue to mine it there's waiting for an exchange to be launched and you know that's kind of ties in with the coin but we'll see what happens <coughs> but if you're looking for other coins to mine lyra 2 z here on the crypto zone calculator it's got a few other coins here and most of these are newer coins now i do think that we're going to start to see more more um cryptocurrencies adapting and perhaps selecting this algorithm i've you know in the safe coin community I, I put i put it forward i said listen apparently it's asic resistance i'll need to find out more information about it but i'm you know reducing my electricity cost by about 40 percent and you know i've dropped my temperatures down my gpus by another 10 degrees or so as well there's a lot to love about this algorithm so yeah i know algorithms it's not the, the most exciting uh, thing to talk about but it's very important from a mining point of view you want something that is efficient which this is and you know it's dropping temperatures in my gpus which is very good as well it's always good less hot air you know putting less stress in the, in the graphics cards but also because this is cpu friendly you know it kind of it, it makes it more even makes it fairer you know, it, it, there's not a lot of coins that um, that give any any kind of advantage to mining with a CPU. Or just give them, a, you know, a fair shot at at, um, at mining. You know, normally a CPU gets absolutely crushed by a GPU, but my 8700K is getting me around just under half a 1060. So it's really, really good from that point of view. I can now mine with my with my CPU, and it's not just mining for the sake of mining. I'm getting a, a, a decent rate. So, really good. There's a lot to love, guys. Um, I wish I had more information about this. There was an official website telling you more, but I'll put links to all these websites here. You can learn about Lyra 2 and Blake. Lyra 2Z as well. Now, a lot of people, as I said, I've seen some people saying it's ASIC resistant. I've seen some websites that, you know, some of the coins here that have adopted that have said it's ASIC resistant. We really do need to take this with a pinch of salt, guys, because these things change very quickly. But, from a mining point of view, it's efficient. You can CPU mine with it. It's going to make your room cooler. It's going to use less power, less hot air in your room. Win-win, guys. It's win-win. So I thought I would share it, guys. If you want to learn more, I'm going to share these links. You can read more about it. Just do some research. Search for Lyra 2Z and you'll find out more about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'd love to hear your opinion on this. So please do leave a comment below. And I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.